Hi guys, uh, my name is Lindsay. I'm a part-time reseller in Poshmark and I also send some items into the Real Real. I post new content every Monday and Thursday of unboxings from either ThreadUp or the Goodwill Blue Box. So if you do enjoy mystery unboxings, please consider subscribing and hitting the like button for me if you enjoy the video. Today we're gonna be opening a designer box and this one came from Georgia. I ordered this on Super Bowl Sunday. A lot of the boxes came in stock during the first half of the game and I was able to order three designer boxes. They all came from Georgia. So this is the larger size box. So we'll see what they've sent us here. Um, this is DIY. Um, so you're not gonna necessarily get items that are in perfect condition. Sorry about that noise. Um, there could be some flaws. Um, there will be flaws, um, no certain. But um, from my experience, these boxes have been great. Um, you know, even with the flaws, they're usually still a decent profit. So here is a first glance for ya. Um, we have some Burberry right on top. And this is a little jacket and it's navy blue. A nice Novacek pattern on the collar and, and the inside. And um, this is, let's see if it has a size here. This is a really nice weight jacket for spring. It's not heavy and I really like the navy blue. Now, um, with the Novacek pattern on the inside, I don't know if this is something that you could reverse. Um, or if it's just supposed to be worn um, with the navy on the outside. So let me know if you know about that. Um, and I got another jacket that's just exactly like this one and I could not find a size on it. But, you know, I don't know if it could maybe be hiding in one of the pockets or something like that. So I will hunt around for it before I completely give up that it doesn't have one. But um, I would say that this is probably a small. This is in really nice condition. I don't see any issues with it. Um, and again, I just love the navy blue with the Nova check. I think it's really pretty. So this, this should do well um, for spring. Let me just check this in here so I'm not constantly rubbing up on it and making noise. And this we have a dress. Let me move these scissors out of the way. Um, it's a very, very fancy, and it's got like a cap sleeve, black lace top, and then it has this metallic, okay, so there is an issue on the back, um, there's a slit and it kind of slid a little bit farther than it should be, so it's coming, um, on sewn a little bit there. And let's see if we can find a brand and then I'll show you what's going on. Um, okay, so this is Marquesa, Marquesa um, Note. It's a size 16. Um, it does have the rental retiree in there. Um, so what happened is on the back, there's this slit and it just kind of slipped further up than it should be. And there's a hole there. Um, so, I mean, I don't think that's a major deal breaker. It could probably be fixed. I mean, otherwise this is really pretty. Um, I love the lace and the cap sleeve and just the black with the gold. It would be really, really pretty for like a holiday party or something like that. So I'll look into that, um, you know, to see if it would be worth fixing or just listing as is, but either way, I think it could still be listed. It's got a nice weight to it. Um, really, really pretty. Okay, next we have a handbag. And wow, this is Prada. And it's a pebbled leather, um, little shoulder bag. I've never gotten a Prada handbag in one of the boxes out of all the boxes I've opened. 
the inside is quite dirty, um, at least back in here by the pocket, so it could use a wipe down. The exterior of the bag is okay, um, pretty good. It comes with a dust bag too, I just dropped that. There is a little bit of cracking and wear on the corner um, on both sides, but it's nothing that's, you know, crazy. Um, it certainly was not stored properly, so that's why it's lost all of its structure. So, um, you know, really when you have a handbag, it's best to stuff it, um, you know, like with air paper or something like that and put it in the dust bag and put it upright. You know, this just was not taken care of and it's kind of smushed. Now there are some marks here. I don't know if that's color transfer or possibly dirt. Um, it is on the back side, so it could be color transfer. This would be a difficult type of um, bag to wear with denim. Um, with it being white, but it's Prada. So, um, you know, I think that this could still go for a decent amount if I can get it cleaned up and reshaped. Um, the dust bag is also um, kind of gross. It's got a stain on it. And uh, I can definitely wash that. It's small for the bag, but I, I guess it's the original one. It's really, really soft. So I will um, be cleaning this one up, um, but that's, you know, still nice. At least it's Prada. It's not like a Furla or, you know, a lower brand. It's really nice. It's got some weight to it. And next we have a pair of shoes. These are wild Jimmy shoes with these tassels. Um, let's see what's going on with these. And each of the shoes have different colors. I'm just going to take a sip of my white claw here. I'm recording, I think, eight videos or so tonight, so I'm getting a little parched. These are um, like a snakeskin leather. They're 38 and a half. Really nice condition. Um, the leather is really soft and I don't see flaking. Um, it seems like it's in nice condition. I mean, these are just bizarre. I mean, they, they don't even seem like they go with the same shoe. So these lace up your ankle and then there's, um, so it says 1996 Jimmy Choo. Um, on one of the coins and then the other one has a, um, a snake or a dragon. And then the other one, yeah, they both say 1996. So I don't know if that's um, like a commemorative year for the, um, for the brand or what that is. So this one has purple and orange. And then this one has green and um, blue. So um, these would be really, really fun for um, like Mardi Gras with these bright colors. I don't know if it had something to do with the Olympics in 96, um, you know, or if that's just like some kind of anniversary for the design house. Now this one does have some wear on the um, heel tap, but otherwise these are in really nice shape. And being with the style, I, I feel like this might be unique. I mean... These are much different than just getting a normal snakeskin heel um, with the tassels. So I'm excited to look into those. And next we have, um, oh, these are a pair of Emilio Pucci. I thought it said Burberry at first. It's hard to read. Emilio Pucci. Um, these are a yellow patent leather, very damaged. A lot of marks on the patent leather. Um, I don't think Emilio Pucci um, sells for a ton. I had a pair of much better condition shoes sell for, you know, around 50. Now the bottoms of these are in really good shape, but the patent leather is not in good condition. I can try to wipe that down, but I have a feeling that that's not going to come clean. Um, now would I still list these as is? I would, you know, I mean, they're, they're not going to go for much in that condition, but, um, you know, some people still just like to experience a brand and if they could get them for a cheap price, they're still willing to pay it. 
So I'll see what I can do with those. Um, next we have a pair of, oh my gosh, Chanel loafers. So these are seem like an older style. Um, you have the CC on the tongue there. And um, they say Chanel on the bottom. They're a 38. I can't say see if it's a 38 and a half or just a 38. The leather is so soft. Um, you know, they're in, they're in worn condition for sure. There's a lot of creasing here. But I, I can't even tell you how soft the leather is. They're really, really nice. So I imagine these are, are probably vintage. Let's take a look at the other one to see if we can see the size. Yeah, they're a 38 and a half. Um, but they were not stored properly and also had a lot of use. So um, a lot of creasing there. These can be cleaned up. They have a lot of life left. I don't know how much something like that might go for, but um, you know, I think that these alone may pay for the whole box just being Chanel. So those are exciting. And lastly, we have a clothing piece. This is um, just Giorgio Armani. This also looks like it could be possibly vintage. It feels like wool. It's a skirt. Um, and it's like a, a brown and a black stripe or brown and gray. It's just a pencil skirt. And it feels like it's nice quality. I don't see a size and or a material tag, um, so I'll have to look around for that. But, um, you know, that's something that could be listed. Otherwise, it seems like it's in good condition. So this box, I mean, this really had some ups and downs. The dress, I have a feeling that if this was in good shape, it would go for quite a bit. Um, the Prada bag, you know, this should do okay, but it needs to be cleaned up. I'm excited to look into these. But don't forget we had that Burberry quilted jacket that's in really good condition. So overall, I think this box was pretty decent. Um, we had the Giorgio Armani skirt. We had the Emilio Pucci um, little escadrille wedge. The Chanel loafers. The um, Jimmy Choo with the tassels. And hopefully I can find a stock photo for those because those are going to be very difficult to photograph. Um, we had the Prada bag and it did come with the dust bag. We had the Marquesa dress. Um, only condition issue appears to be that slit in the back and then the Burberry jacket. So overall, not too bad. Um, you can't expect things are going to come in perfect condition in the DIY box. Um, some are going to be worse than others in terms of condition issues. So this at least has a few items that are in ready, sellable condition. Um, let me know what your thoughts are. Please hit the thumbs up for me. Um, leave a comment below and I will see you on the next video.